I don't know what the deal is, but Death Valley has got the absolute worst campgrounds I've ever been to, and I'm talking about ever, anywhere, in all the places in the world I've ever been to, the campgrounds at Death Valley are the absolute worst. I mean, look at this. What is this? It's just a gravel lot. Now, as I recall, there's another campground up in the hills over here, which is slightly more scenic. But the sites are just right on top of each other, like they are here, separated by walls of rocks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Death Valley, come on, get your act together. On the plus side, it's cheap. It's only 12 bucks, so easy place to stay for the night. But man, oh man, come on. For tonight's sunset, I'm coming to you live from the Mesquite Sand Dunes in Death Valley National Park. And I'm headed out here to those duny dunes. Look at those lines and shapes and textures. Ah, oh, it's going to be great. And I'm hoping that the sunset is going to be beautiful. They're all hard to see with this camera, I suppose, but lots of beautiful textures and things like that in the sky. Lots of bubbly little clouds on top of other layers of clouds. So hopefully when the sun goes down, the thing lights up with a lot of color. But uh, I got to get a move on because it's coming. Well, even though it's winter time, I think it's going to be darn near impossible to find some dunes that aren't covered with footprints. I mean, you can see them here, just footprints everywhere. Absolutely covering all the dunes. So we'll see how far we have to go out there to get to somewhere that's pristine. And hopefully we won't be walking by the time the sun starts to set. But, uh, what are we gonna do? Well, I found my spot. There's, it's footprint free and lots of beautiful textures, patterns. There's a little bit of, uh, I don't know what this is, is this mesquite bush? I don't really know. But look at these beautiful textures here in the sand. And they flow down, and I love this, this little slope right here, this perfectly straight lines. The only thing that's ruining it all is this. Some tourist left his water bottle right there, and the real bitch is I can't go down and get it, because otherwise my footprints will be all over this beautiful footprint-free sand over there, so that, unfortunately, is going to have to be one for the clone stamp tool in Photoshop when we post-process this thing. Now, the lighting is already pretty beautiful and even, but what I'm really waiting for is when the sun peeks out from behind these clouds. Oh, man, I think things are going to really light up. So, hopefully, you'll be able to see the photo. You know what else is really amazing about this place? Is the peacefulness of it. Couldn't be more than a mile or so from the road. But there's no wind. There's no sound. If you just sit still and listen, all you hear is the rush of blood in your ears. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Well, I didn't get that nice, beautiful, colorful sunburst I was hoping for when the sun dropped below the clouds. I think it got blocked by some other clouds in the background, or maybe it went behind Mount Whitney and the shadow cast over Death Valley. But I don't really mind because the lighting I did get was just very beautiful, very even and subtle. You can see it's still very, very light out, uh, and just this beautiful, beautiful light coming down over the, the dunes. Just so peaceful out here, so lovely. There's all my gear. Man, oh man, look at this beautiful face right here. All these silly footprints and then whew, so smooth. Great place. I heard somebody. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, there they are. Look at those little specks out there. Little do they know, I'm squishing their heads with my fingers. No, it's too close. I don't want them to hear my voice. Stop shouting, Dad. It's right behind you.